Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today we are checking out the Felix P360, a really versatile uh, 350 watt equivalent LED lamp that has uh, multiple color temperature settings and allows us to use it in all types of different lighting scenarios. We're going to use it as a key and a fill light today uh, when we go out and shoot some footage with it. It is powered by a power supply that can take 110 to 240 volts. You can also use DC power camera batteries uh, in a range from 12 to 24 volts. Uh, we're going to give you a look at the front and back panels before we take it outside so you can see the different accessories available. Looking at the front of the light now you can notice we have this little registration pin at the very top that allows me to use a couple of different accessories. Of course it comes standard with a barn door. It just goes into the tracks here and allows the lamp to be used like any other uh, professional lighting instrument. In addition, you have these little uh, discs right here. These are actually magnets. So I'm going to rotate the lights so you can see this slightly better. And what those are for is for a diffusion dome that has uh, magnets on it as well. There you go. Got a little look at that. And this pops in and just as fast as that, now you have a nice little diffusion element that can be added to the light. Looking at the back of the lamp, I'm going to start it up. As soon as I push in, I get a green status. You may have also noticed that a cooling fan starts up behind the uh, grate here. Now at the top, I have an LED readout that's showing me color temperature, the percentage of power output. Now I have two indicators. On the right hand side, the top one is going to be our hue adjustment and the one below it on the bottom right is a DMX channel allocation. So I'm going to get started just by turning the power on to about 2%. There you go. As soon as you uh, change a parameter, it will now default back to the screen and it'll have that, uh, that adjustment locked into its memory and displayed for you. If I want to change my color temperature, I'm going to go in here and I'm simply going to turn the dial under under 5600 lamps here. So I'm going to keep it at 5600. If I wanted to change the hue, uh, all I do is I go in and I double click rapidly and now I have the hue adjustment. And again, if I change that value to plus or minus, that status is now shown to me in the upper right hand corner. And the same is true of DMX. Double click rapidly, I can change the channel allocation and now it is displayed for me on the bottom right hand corner. I have uh, input and output so I have DMX throughput and as far as power goes with this the unit comes with a power supply and that is a 110 to 240 volt AC power. I'm going to pull the power out so you can see it's just a single connector here but also notice I could as an option I could purchase separately a power cable that would be ending in DTAP, for example, and that would go into a camera battery, and hence we get the 12 to 30 volt DC power option. We took the P360 over to Estella's office, and we used it as a key and as a fill light. Here's that footage. I've attached the optional Fresnel lens here, and as you can see, if I rotate this, this will give you the ability to spot and flood and give you the characteristics of a Fresnel instrument. And I took this and put this outside uh, Stella's office. You can see here a little example of what the performance looks like when you spot and flood it. In addition, this also has the little catch like there is on the unit itself, and the lips right here, that allows me to put a professional barn door on here and to trim the light like you would with any other professional lighting instrument.
And that concludes our look at the P360 from Felix. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.